Good morning. Uh, this weekend we're starting a new series for Sundays based on uh, the last chapter of Ephesians, Ephesians 6. And Helen's kicking us off uh, that Sunday. Uh, one of the passages that's most recognised from Ephesians 6 is the whole area of the armour of God. And within that, there's obviously a list. There's a list of armour that uh, Paul describes because he's trying to get people to visualise the Roman centurion who's got particular pieces of armour that they have in order to go into battle or to defend um, a situation that they're uh, looking to uh, to defend. Uh, and uh, in that list of armour is everything from shoes from the bottom of the feet to the helmet on the head. And in the middle, there's a breastplate of righteousness and the shield of faith. Last night, I was out walking uh, in Southbourne. Uh, it was quite late in the evening. I was walking with someone. And as we were walking along, one of the things we noticed on the pathways on the cliff top were thousands and thousands of snails. They'd all decided to leave their little holes, little crevices in the, in the stonework and uh, go out wandering on the paths. It was hard not to walk on them. We did try not to walk on them. And it made me think a little bit about the shield of faith, as you do. And actually, those snails came out at night because it was safer to do so. Because whilst they've got a shell on their back, their shell's very thin. It protects them from some things, but not enough. It protects them from uh, bumping into things. And it protects them from some adversaries. It protects them from drying out. But it wouldn't protect them from, say, a thrush who'd just take hold of them, take them to the nearest stone and smash their shell. I think sometimes it's how we feel about faith. Um, and some of that comes from perhaps just our own uh, feelings about our relationship with God and how sure, steady and stable that is. Uh, sometimes it comes from poor teaching in the church. I remember being in a meeting once where someone was being prayed for, uh, particularly I think it was for healing. And they were being told that they weren't being healed because they didn't have enough faith. For me, as a young Christian at that point, I thought, what is enough faith? How much faith do you really need? Jesus said, you only need faith as small as a grain of mustard, or the mustard seed tree, uh, and it can move mountains. How much faith do they have that they couldn't see healing? Or did they have no faith? And there are times in the Bible where people with no faith are touched by God and healed. There's a guy who talks about his daughter and says, Lord, help my unbelief. It, it doesn't seem to add up that uh, someone can turn around to someone and say, you're not healed because you don't have enough faith. In fact, it damages someone's faith for someone even to say that. Faith is one of those things that is small but at the same time, big. We don't need much of it. but we need very little faith in order for it to have a powerful effect in our lives. We may not get healed, but we most certainly can get saved. We most certainly can have a relationship with God restored. We most certainly can come into a communication with God that we couldn't have without faith. Faith empowered the men and women of the Old Testament in Hebrews 11. Faith is classically uh, thought of as something that drives us forward, even though we can't see what is coming. Abraham had faith in the land that God was leading him to, and also had faith in the fact that he'd have a son. Faith can sometimes be like a vapour, like a mist. And sometimes it can feel like a castle in, 
in Bolden Castle and sometimes it certainly can feel like a shield. The thing with the shield of faith is that it is there to protect us and it might look really flimsy but when it comes to the devil's aims and schemes it has huge power can overcome huge obstacles so if you're struggling in your faith today and you're thinking well i'm not sure where i am with god be confident of this you've got enough if you've got just the tiniest bit of faith you've got enough it will see you through it will hold you firm it will ward off the flaming arrows of the evil one let's pray father thank you that we might only have snail shell faith but it's enough because you're enough and lord we pray today that as we walk through uh, our day ahead we will be able to put up that shield no matter how flimsy it is and know that you're with us today holding on to us protecting us and giving us everything that we need because faith is enough we thank you in jesus name amen